Okay, everybody. Bucket toilet update. So this is what I did to update the bucket toilet to get the um I was tired of looking at the um look at the old toilet video, the black zip ties on the side. I got tired of looking at those every time I sat in the van. So this is what I did. I um oops shoot. Okay, so this is what I did. I took the black zip ties off. Remember the black zip ties went through the hole and then over here. And I had these cup hooks. I had bought them a long time ago. And it was 100 hooks in a pack. Or 50 hooks maybe, I'm not sure. So I put one on each side. On the outside to hold the handle of the bag. This is just the handle of the bag. And then I put one on each side. On the inside to hold the gear tie because I use the gear tie as a middle partition so the bag doesn't flop down on this end when you're sitting and also when you put weight in it with your poop sometimes the bag will flop down so this acts as a nice bridge to hold it actually gives me more space here now and here is the water jug that is my pee jug so you just stick that in gear tie back and now the water jug is in which is the pee jug and then the funnel which I just cleaned out goes into the pee jug and it sits just like that so now you've got funnel inside the pee jug and bag for poop Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. I didn't set up the tripod. Now my Reliance Lugabaloo toilet lid will snap on easier. Just make sure that that tapered part in the front gets put right where the, um, gets put, there's a little slightly tapered end. Just put that right where the uh, funnel is. And now it snaps on much easier because I was always fighting those stupid zip ties pushing down on this. There it is, all ready to go. Gives me much more room and this holds, this gear tie really holds the funnel in place, which is perfect. Exactly what I ended up wanting is that gear tie to make it tighter right there. Not so loosey goosey. And there it is, you pee in the front and you poop in the back.